and we're back. All right, so um, hopefully you were able to catch my period hack video, which I recorded just before this, as you can see. Um, I am here today to talk to you about the Flex Cup. Okay, so the Flex Cup is my new favorite thing. Um, I was in Kuwait when I started seeing the advertisements for it, and I was like, oh, ooh, I am getting one of those. And my, what, second day in Kuwait, third day in Kuwait, I was at Target buying one of these. So first of all, it's black. I'm biased, I love black things. Like, black is just awesome. Black is beautiful. Black girl magic. Um, anyway. It's black. It feels different from other cups. Most cups have that kind of like transparent, almost see-through um, material. This is not that. Um, there are quite a few cups that I've seen that do have the solid um, material, but um, I haven't had the pleasure of using those. I've used the linen cup, the spoon cup, and um, those are all a bit transparent which still love the linen cup still love the spoon cup I just love this one differently it's like when you have kids no I don't have kids but I imagine it's like when you have kids like you love your first kid and then you have your second kid and you love your second kid too and then you have your third kid and you just love your third kid differently you know your, your third kid is just it's just different still love them all but it's different you're wiser you've been there done that you like I've got this you can eat stuff off the floor, it'll be fine. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, the reason why this cup is so special, the reason why people are talking about this cup is because it has this nice little pull tab. So most of the cups that are on the market, they have a pull tab that looks like this. It's, it's pointless, you, you can't actually use it. Like, just, if you think about your anatomy, right? You, you have your vaginal opening, and you pull this tab and you're trying to pull the cup out it's it's just not maybe or maybe I just don't have a touch but it just hasn't ever worked for me now what I have been able to do is use it to just kind of like pull down a little bit and then I still have to grip if you see my previous videos I've gone over this you still have to grip this area break the seal and then wiggle it out and you have to do all that without trying to spill it which is not as difficult as it sounds um you know, I consider myself to be a pro now. <laughs> Not a pro now, a pro now. Um, but um, yeah, so this one takes out that whole step. The whole point of this one is that you have this pull tab and the pull tab breaks the seal for you, which means you can actually use this to pull the cup out. So what happens is, I'm gonna show you from this, from this angle, I hope this is a good angle. You pull the string and you see how it goes down. So it's broken the seal for you and then you continue pulling it down, right? Now you pull it and it stays. So once you've gotten it to a certain point, you can come up, grab it from here, empty the cup, rinse it out, pop it back in. It stays like this until you put it back, which is one thing that I like because um, it wouldn't be very helpful if I started pulling and then it bounced back up. So that's one of the things that I like about it the most, other than the fact that it's black. I love that I have a black cup. Um, so what you do, you rinse it off and all that good stuff, and I just kind of pull it back through. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. It's not usually this hard, um, because it's usually wet, so it pulls a little easier. Um, this is dry, and I've been off my cycle for about a week, so it's just been chilling. <laughs> it's had time to just kind of like, you know, be thoroughly dry. Um, but I will show you the inside of the cup and I hope my light is not too bright and you can see in there that you have a nice little, like you have this little tab and this tab has a, I'm gonna pull this back a little bit, it has a stopper on it. Um, excuse my nails, I will get them done but I am working on cutting back on so that I can save money so um, I have not soaked this powder off yet next week um, but it has this tab that helps to stop it um, you wouldn't be able to pull the string through this way anyway because you know there's this but it helps to stop it so that when you're pulling 
the when you pull the tab down and you're cu you're pulling the cup out like if you have a full cup the blood is not leaking through this part i have not had a had an issue with the blood leaking through here so it's very well bu built very well constructed i have no idea how they figured it out but they did um and i'm pleased i'm pleased now one thing you can do is you can pull this through it's hard to do but i have done it once because i was just like oh i wonder if you could do this. you can pull that through but the thing is that's not going to happen while you're wearing the cup like there's nothing in there that's going to be pulling this tab up it's not going to happen while you're wearing the cup and if it does happen when you're like washing the cup and just trying to get it really good all you have to do is just push it back through um, I've actually done it to where I pulled the whole thing out and I had to like string it back through and it, and it wasn't difficult. So you just pull it back through. You see, it's easy to pop out. Um, it is comfortable more, more often than not, I put it in and I get it in the right spot. If you've seen my previous videos, you heard me talk about doing the cervix check where like you pop your cup in there and then you take your finger up and around to see if you can feel your cervix because you gotta have your cervix in the cup in order to make sure the blood goes in there. Um, but I don't do that very often with this cup. Me and this cup have a very nice, open, honest, and trusting relationship. So I pop it in and I don't do a cervix check. I just keep going. I just keep going about my day. And she looks out for me, you know. And I'm not saying the cup is perfect. I'm not saying I've never leaked or I've never... Um, put it in the wrong position, you know, or that it's 100% of the time it's gone in place. But it is very similar to the linen cup in that when it pops out, it's not as hard as the linen cup. In my previous videos, I did say it's a pro and a con of the, of the linen cup that you insert it, it pops out with force so it stays in place, but also it popped out on my service once. Um, never forget that. Never gonna forget. This is, this is softer than the linen cup. It's probably somewhere between the spoon cup and the linen cup. Um, and you, but it still has that same like force to where like when I shimmy it, dropped it, sorry guys. I'm so sorry. I will, I will treat you better in the future. So a thing happened. Um, my phone died while I was recording this video. And although I got oh, pretty far in the video, um, I just kept on talking and it wasn't recording because <laughs> you know your phone doesn't make a sound when it dies. So I was saying that um, it stays in place. Long story short, it stays in place. Um, we have a good relationship and I'm pleased with this cup. So more often than not, I pop the cup in. I trust that it's in place and I don't feel like I need to check and double check and triple check or pull it out, put it back in. It just feels right. It goes right where it needs to go. Um, now, it does have that same material. And I, and I know I've seen people complain about the Schoon Cup, about how the material is almost like it collects dust. And it does. Like I said, this one's been sitting for a while. So you, you looking at it, like you can see like the dust and dust particles and stuff. But that's not going to be a problem while you're wearing the cup. Um, so you wash the cup out and you pop it in and then when you take it out, you wash it, you put it back in. And then even if you do let it sit for a day or whatever, if you just don't feel like wearing your cup, you wash it and you put it in. So you're, you're washing away anything that might be sticking to it um, before you put it in. And I know that like that doesn't necessarily sound appealing, but the Schoon Cup to date before the Flex Cup was my favorite cup. And this cup has that same quality. And so there has to be something about the the material they've chosen um, and, the, and the effectiveness. So um, I can deal with a little dust. I mean, you know, if I can dig out a pad or a tampon that's been in the bottom of a bag for a year and put that on, then I'm pretty sure I can wash off a little dust and then go from there. Um, but I do, I do love it. It's almost like a... The material is, is, is it's resistant. That's a good word for it. The material is resistant. So I do feel like when I put it in, it stays in place. And you know, the vaginal canal gets really slippery during the cycle. But I feel like when I put this in, the material does create that friction with the vaginal canal and it stays where I put it. So I love this cup. Um, if you can't tell, I don't have anything negative to say about it. Like nothing negative to say about it. 
since I bought this cup and tried it out, it's been three cycles, four cycles. This is the only one I've used. Um, you know, you may have, you may remember that I, in my last video, I said, well, first day I wear my spoon cup, second day I wear my linen cup, third day I wear my linen cup, fourth day I wear my spoon cup. I don't do that anymore. I um, just wear this cup the whole time and we're good. Funny story, embarrassing story, but funny story. Um, love this cup so much that like, one day I got in the shower and um, I always change my cup in the shower. It's like my favorite place to change my cup because it's just like super easy. I feel like, um, you know, I take my cup out, empty it, and then, ooh, excuse me, how rude. Um, empty it and then I wash it, pop it back in. Like it's, and, and it's like there's water running on me while I'm doing it, so it just feels so clean. Um, but one day, like, I literally forgot I had it in there. And I took a shower, lotioned up, like, put shea butter on my body, you know, shea butter baby. And um, I started putting my clothes on. I was like, I did not change my cup in the shower. And I was like, this cup is so comfortable. <laughs> I always talk about how you forget it's there. But never, ever, ever have I gotten in a shower and not taken my cup out and like rinse it and put it back in. And I was like, I really forgot this cup was there. So I had to like go back in the bathroom. I didn't get back in the shower, but I had to go back in the bathroom, empty my cup, wash it out, put like do a little quick wash up and then put it back in. Like that's how comfortable this cup is that I just completely forgot it was there. Um, so speaking of cleanliness and sanitation, um, I have fallen victim to the forgetting my cup was boiling thing and I did singe my spoon cup a little bit. Um, normally I just stand there while it's boiling because it's like five to seven minutes, you know. There's plenty of things you can do in the kitchen in five to seven minutes. It's like two songs, sing a song. Um, but one hack that I can give you guys is that if you have a whisk and you want to boil your cup, open the whisk and put your cup in it and then put the whisk in the boiling water. That way the cup never touch, you, have, you don't have to worry about it touching the side. And if the water does boil out, which it's dangerous don't do that because you can start a fire um set a timer do whatever you have to do but if it does start to boil out you don't have to worry about your cup getting damaged and it, it's a whisk it'll be fine um but uh for those of you that are non-boilers soaking your cup in half half water half vinegar solution white vinegar you can use apple cider vinegar as well but i like to use white vinegar for my cup um is a great way to help with discoloration. You're not gonna have any discoloration with the black cup. Um, but if you have a cup that does have that transparent kind of feel to it, um, it helps with discoloration, it helps with um, odor, and it sanitizes. You may have heard the saying, you can use white vinegar for anything you can use bleach for. Now, you may not wanna, you know, like, vinegar your clothes because the smell, but I mean, bleach smells too, so. Um, white vinegar is a great alternative solution for cleaning. And so um, that's, that's something that I do at the end of each of my periods just to kind of like take care of my cup. I let it soak for about an hour. I have like left the house let, letting it soak and come back and I feel like no, nothing wrong with it. It will smell like vinegar if you soak it for too long, but some weeks go by before your next cycle, it's not gonna smell like vinegar anymore. Um, so those, those are just some cleaning tips. And um, last thing, it's giveaway time. So I am gonna be giving away a flex cup. And the flex cup comes with one of these bad boys and two discs. Now I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with discs, but discs are basically another alternative. I don't use discs because part of the reason I started using cups was to be kind to the environment um, and discs are disposable. So the disc is basically like a, like a round thing like this that you pinch to insert and it has like a plastic, I'm not sure if it's plastic, but it has like a plastic bag. So it's like, it can be flat or when you fill it up, I guess it fills up like that. Um, you can have sex with, with the disc. Like the disc is one of, one of the selling points of the disc is that you can have sex with it because it sits up higher than the cup does. And so you still have a lot of room for intercourse. Um, it's disposable. I have a friend that's flight attendant, so she uses the disc because you can just pop it and go, but you still get the benefits of like, having something that is non-toxic um, and seamless, like with the cup. So somebody is gonna be the new owner of a Flex Cup and two free discs. Um, all you have to do to win 
is, of course, watch this video. Um, I would be so grateful if you would tag a friend and tell me what it is that you wish you knew before you started your period or what it is that you wish someone told you before you started your menstrual cycle. Um, and that's it. And then I'm going to choose one of you guys and I will be mailing you a flex coat. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for giving me the um, permission to talk freely about my period because you know how much I love to do that. And wherever you are, I hope that you are conquering your period and you are not letting your period conquer you. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.